Have you taken a moment to reflect on the sheer power a single word carries? Can it have direct influence on the physical world we inhabit? In the Holy Scriptures, it is stated, death and life are in the power of the tongue, Proverbs 18.21. It also says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, Ephesians 4.29. And in the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 11, Christ warns us that it's not what goes into one's mouth that is poison, but what comes out of it. Reflect on the strength of words. Words have the ability to heal, to wound, to create or to destroy, but can their power transcend the abstract and mold the physical world? Envision the word love, not just stirring up emotions, but weaving its essence into the very fabric of our reality. Or consider hate, not merely evoking a feeling of distaste, but causing a real, tangible ripple in the world. This is not just artistic expression or fantasy, a possibility anchored in the science of vibrations, frequencies and energy patterns. Every uttered word, every written phrase, could be more than a mere tool of communication. They might be tiny architects shaping and restructuring the world around us in ways we are yet to fully comprehend. Enter Dr. Masaru Emoto, a Japanese scientist who sought to explore this very concept. In the late 20th century, Emoto embarked on a series of unique experiments. His curiosity led him to examine water, a substance that makes up a significant portion of our planet and indeed ourselves. His methodology was simple yet profound. He would speak to water, uttering words of varying emotional resonance or write these words on containers housing the water. The words ranged from expressions of love and gratitude to those of hate and fear. When Emoto peered into these water samples, he found something quite extraordinary. The water exposed to positive words formed beautiful symmetrical crystals, akin to a snowflake in its intricate design. However, the water subjected to negative words formed disorganized asymmetrical patterns, far from the beauty of their positive counterparts. It was as if the water was responding to the emotional content of the words, his results were intriguing, but Emoto was just getting started. Emoto's most renowned work came in the form of his study titled The Hidden Messages in Water. This groundbreaking experiment began by placing water in vials labelled with positive phrases such as love and gratitude, or negative words like hatred and anger. The water was then frozen, and the resulting ice crystals were observed under a microscope. The findings were nothing short of remarkable. Water exposed to positive words froze into stunning symmetrical crystals, akin to intricate snowflakes. On the other hand, water subjected to negative words resulted in disheveled, unattractive formations, lacking any discernible symmetry. If we consider that humans are largely composed of water and our brains, the seat of our emotions and thoughts, are mostly water, these results seem even more significant. Can our words and the emotions they carry affect us at a molecular level? These findings suggested that words could indeed have a physical impact on the world, at least on water. Considering that humans are made up mostly of water, Emoto's findings could have far-reaching implications. The human brain, for instance, is comprised of about 85% water. If words and intentions can impact water to such an extent, imagine the possible influence on our thoughts and emotions. The very fabric of our consciousness could be shaped by the language we use and the sentiments we express. Imagine a world where the words of love, gratitude and hope aren't just expressions of our feelings but also catalysts for positive change. These words uttered with sincerity could engender a ripple effect transforming not just our personal lives, but also our collective consciousness. The potential applications of Emoto's work are vast and intriguing. They could revolutionize our understanding of the human psyche, offering new perspectives on emotional wellness and mental health. While the full implications of Dr. Emoto's work are still being explored, his studies have opened up a fascinating dialogue about the power of words and their potential to shape our world.